today we are going to be talking about life cycle of flowering plants you know that all living things pass through stages from birth to adult called the life cycle every every living thing has a different life span today we will we'll be discussing about the life cycle of plants only so you know that there are beautiful flowers around us in parks in gardens everywhere right so a flowering plant begins its life cycle as a seed seed needs special conditions to germinate or begin to grow if you look at this diagram you can see this is the germination stages you have already started and when it's a small seed it requires special conditions for itself to grow first of all it starts growing the roots you can see it here that they are the first leaves they are being shown in this diagram then there is an embryo the seed coat the nutrients and then when the conditions are perfect for the seed then it starts growing seed does not starts growing everywhere it needs special conditions and when the seed starts growing and the seedling is formed then it starts making its own food when it has leaves so when you look at the germination of seed there you can see there is a small seed inside the soil then it starts growing its roots first then it comes out then there are different factors that are influencing germination seeds needs water right amount of oxygen temperature and light for itself to grow to start germinating to start growing right so these factors are really very important for the seed to start growing once the seed has been grown and it has turned into a plant then comes the process of pollination it has grown its flowers so then it comes the process of pollination pollens are um, of different plants have different shapes and sizes pollens are small and light so that they, they can be carried by birds insects and all these things so what is basically pollination pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower there are two types of pollination self pollination pollen from the same flower cross pollination pollen from the different flower there are different variations in that then there are pollinators animal wind water can all help in the transfer of pollen we can call animals or insects that transfer pollen from plant to plant pollinators the flower type shape color odor nectar and structure vary by the type of the pollinator that visits them definitely you see butterflies on very beautiful flowers honey bees are the most common pollinators they come to take nectar once the pollination is done then comes the fertilization pollen lands on stigma travels down the style joins the ovule ovary becomes the fruit and seed develops inside the fruit so these are the steps of the fertilization that fertilization takes place then comes the important part once the seed is being formed inside the fruit then comes that the seeds needs to be dispersed that is the seed dispersal so there are different ways that the seeds can be dispersed like by wind by animals by water by explosion we have all studied these types in detail in the previous lessons as well so this seed dispersal that can be like you all know that animals or the birds they like to eat different fruits so the seeds they are being passed out through um, their bits and all this and then there is a dispersal by wind there are some seeds which are very light they are dispersed by wind then some explosion that they dry out and they are being exploded now if you see what happens we'll have quick recap the seeds they were being sown first is the process of the germination then the stems and roots are being formed then the leaves are being grown then flowers grow and then the pollination takes place and then again the process of the seed formation and then the process of germination takes place so it's a life cycle of the plant now what is your task for today you need to read the textbook page from page number 115 till 118 and answer the question on an a4 sheet also draw the label diagram of the life cycle of a plant 
write down the stages of the life cycle of a flowering plant and explain the importance of these stages in reproduction of the plant. In the end, I want all of you to protect yourself and those around you. Take good care, follow all the precautionary measures and stay safe. Allah Hafiz, take care.